look, look, I dressed up for you. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to wear the pink top yet. I brushed my hair, I filled in my eyebrows, wearing my pink top. Feeling kind of pretty <laughs> on this last day in India. Let's go and see what Delhi has to offer on this last day in India. Boo! This awesome rickshaw driver yeah. kept asking me and following me yeah. and I thought like, done, he's yeah. a nice guy. <laughs> so, so for the first time we're taking a rickshaw because I like you. <laughs> Otherwise I would walk. Welcome my country. Welcome Thank you. My okay, so this was hilarious. I got in and then he started driving around and he was like, no, no, but the traffic is too, it, it, there's too much traffic to go to the Red Fort, blah, blah. I will take you to India Gate, I will take you there. I was like, no, I want to go to the Red Fort. He's like, no, no. And so we just kept going back and forth a little and he was, he just dropped me here and he was like, if you want to go to the Red Fort, go walk. That's faster than going by, um, by rickshaw. And he didn't even want to take money, so I just gave him 20 rupees. I was like, I like you, here's 20 rupees, buy a chai for yourself. Having some breakfast from this awesome guy. Yes, look at this deliciousness. Wow, this was hardcore out of my comfort zone. So eating real street food by myself for the first time. Also being surrounded by for sure more than 10 men. And they were so respectful. Like they maybe just gave me a glance like from the corner of their eyes, but no one was staring. I was just standing here in between all these men, this girl with a pink top. It was it was really nice. I got I really have to give Indian men a lot of credit. I've been treated with nothing but respect. Wow, look at this beautifully decorated ox. Amazing, and this guy is just chilling on the road. It's a big road, but he doesn't care. No F's given. <laughs> Honestly, for me, this is the best sightseeing in Delhi. Just walking around in the streets, looking at what all the people are doing. It's so crowded. But at the same time, it's such an adventure. So this is one of the streets leading to Old Delhi, where you have like the really narrow little streets. And I'm just not ready for that. Maybe next time I'm in Delhi. But right now I'm just enjoying this madness on a main street. It's not even a main street, but still, like, it's enough for now. <laughs> it looks very charming though. But, all right. Let's first go to the Red Fort and then maybe we'll come back. There it is, the Red Fort. Holy schmeckers, what happened to this truck? Also, we're at the Red Fort. Sweet. I bought a ticket, let's go in. Oh wow, yes, this does look impressive. Let's go through that awesome gate. Whee. Ooh, I just stumbled. So after entering, there's this huge green courtyard and then there's another building over there. I have no idea what this is, but it does look impressive. Look at all the decorations. It's beautiful. Wow, more buildings. I just want to show you, like this is one quarter of the whole complex. I honestly did not expect that. It doesn't look this big from the outside. It's crazy. I was going to say it's a nice to see, but now I would say yeah, it's definitely worth seeing. It's cool. It's so beautiful. I just want to show you like the decorations and also there's more over there. It's really, really pretty to see. Look, wow, this is amazing. Look at all the decorations. It's all carved out. I think it's marble. Wow. Look at that. All right, I'm exhausted. Let's find a place to sit and maybe drink a chaya. Or maybe there's a McDonald's and we can have ice cream. That would be awesome. Something I didn't tell you this morning, I busted my knee doing yoga. I was doing Scorpion and I fell against the wall and my knee is hurting so badly. So I really need to find a place to rest because I've been walking for way too long. My niece telling me, stop, Missy, stop. I thought I was just going to have an ice cream, but I was hungry, what can I say? And it's only like 4 p.m., so I can have this one and then dinner later. So this is one paneer thingy I didn't try, the big spicy paneer wrap. Come to me. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. This is really good. 
really good. I think this even beats the Pornier Burger. OMG. Yeah, no. Old Deli will have to wait until next time because I was just being stalked by an older dude. It was seriously the creepiest stalker I have ever had. He was like running in front of me and then waiting for me to catch up and then running in front of me again. It was bleh. So, and my knee is hurting pretty bad. So let's just get back to the bar area and see if we can find some food over there. Alright, thank you Google Maps. It led me to one of the small streets anyway. So there you go. Old Delhi. Really, really small streets. With a lot of people and rickshaws and scooters going through it anyway. <laughs> It's cool to see, but it was just not what I was looking for at this moment. And there we are again, Bahar Ganj. Looks a little bit like China, right? With all the lights. Oh, you know, just casually strolling with a cow by my side. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling? Good? I think I'm just going to have snacks as a final meal, so Pani Puri again it is. I love Pani Puri! Now, let me just find a samosa or two and then I'm satisfied with my final India meal. Is that a samosa? No, not yet. One samosa for the win. I was so full but I got two samosas for on the road. It's gonna be my breakfast tomorrow morning. I just saw my flight is leaving at 5 a.m. in the morning, which means I have to be at the airport at 3 and also I have some sweets because I'm going to make another Indian snacks tasting video. Yeah, unfortunately the time to pack has come. The time has come to push the button. It's 1am, the time has come to go to the airport. Honestly if you're in Delhi or in Bombay you need the Ola Cabs app. Alright, I'm checked in. I have a stop over at Moscow and I'm flying with Aeroflot. Also, this looks like a long line. I really hope that's not for the for the passport control. Oh snap, yes, this is a very long line. Look at this. Ooh, lucky I got here on time. Holy schmeckers. Alright, so Delhi doesn't only have a traffic problem in the city. I just spent one and a half hour just on passport control. I've never experienced this in my life. Hashtag Westerner, I don't know, man. Is this normal? I don't know. Even in Kochi, it was like so fast. So if you're going through Delhi airport and you need to go through passport control, obviously, if you're catching a flight from Delhi, um, I would suggest to be here three hours ahead of your flight. <laughs> because this is night. I, d I don't even want to know what the line is during the day. This is crazy. It's now 3.30, 3.30 in the middle of the night, 3.30 a.m. I'm sorry, my brain doesn't function anymore. And I started standing in line at 2 a.m. So one and a half hours just for patch control. Wow. Well, okay, I'm tired. Let's go chill for another hour. The last masala chai in India. Yeah. There we go. Can you hear the dramatic Indian music while we leave? We would now like to invite all the common class passengers to come forward for boarding through gates 1. Please have your own boarding card. Back to you. Oh. I'm sad but at the same time I'm so happy to see my man, but at the same time, I'm so in love with India. Cue dramatic Indian music. <laughs> okay, let's go. Traffic in Delhi. What else is new? <laughs> yes, it's a middle aisle seat. Oh well, it's fine. I have some like space. OMG, 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 do I see a USB charger? <laughs> yes! Winning in life! For our Russian friend. We're going and I'm going to sleep. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Where is my man? There he is! I didn't hear my alarm clock this morning. I was supposed to be in Agra right now.